All right, welcome to another episode here. And today what I wanna do is share with you how I automate my blog post. So that way you get an insight on how to really do some automations to save you a lot of time, grief, and that way your blog is sent out to a lot of places all at once. So I'll show you kind of uh, some of the things that I do and some of the things that we're also expanding on. So stay tuned. All right, and then there are a couple of tools that you could use in order to make this happen. Zapier is one of the popular ones. Uh, I personally like Integromat. I've been with them for a little while, uh, probably a year or two, and uh, they've worked out really well. The visuals to it is just fantastic. So that's what I'm gonna share with you in this episode. Now, if you wanna check out Integromat, just check out the link in the description below. Uh, that's my affiliate link, uh, but it uh, gives me a little kudos and credit uh, if you sign up. But anyways, the plans are flexible, and one of the things I like about them is that if you actually look at uh, the pricing, you can get some really good automations every 15 minutes and there's even some data transfer and stuff uh, that they don't really limit you compared to Zapier has some uh, certain premium things and even then at nine bucks a month, you can get a lot of stuff going here. So it works a little bit different on auto uh, operations because you can make your operations run a little quicker. Um, anyway, so one of the things I do when I look at automation, so I'll show you this basic automation here. So I basically submit a form here uh, and it starts from Airtable. So once we submit this form, uh, then what happens is, is it goes to Google Calendar, then it goes into my WordPress, and then it goes into Notion as far as a building out a record and Airtable, so that way I hit it in two spots, kind of like as a backup, and then I send it out to Discord, my followers, then Twitter and Facebook page. So that way all my systems are just integrated. So I basically just go in and submit a video specifically on a link. And I'll show you this right here, just so that way I kind of block out the link. Uh, I set up a title, I set, choose the website I want it to go to because I run a couple of different websites and YouTube channels, the date I want it scheduled, the video URL, the video ID, this kind of helps um, uh, embed the video um, on the website. So I need that to kind of write out the code. I'll show you that in a second, the length and podcast code if I have it, um, and a sponsor just in case if it's a sponsored video or something like that. Now this one isn't, so I wouldn't have filled out uh, something for the sponsor. So anyways, once I fill that out, it goes into kind of this uh, automation uh, area, which um, then it goes into the records, kind of like a, a database table, which I'm gonna pop this back. So here we've got Airtable. So it goes into this which then now starts extracting things. So the first thing it does is it, it goes and checks which website is it for. Like if it's for my critical charts, YouTube channel and website, you know, sees if that matches up, then it goes to this route and then it goes into the calendar. So if I've got a calendar right here, so here's all the uh, posts and everything that's there. Now I could go in and say, okay, well, what about my other calendar? So I've got different posts there. It'll go to a different calendar. But in this case, it goes in and it puts it in my calendar. So that way I can see, hey, which posts were sent out, which blogs were done um, and that kind of thing and that's the way that it works and kind of operates so after the calendar it creates a, a wordpress post so now this is pretty cool because it automates the post now the content i write in as kind of coming soon you can see that right there because later we add to the blog content but this way just it gets scheduled and it's kind of done and then later i have an assistant that helps me out getting this scheduled out it goes into the post uh the date scheduled and then we just publish it boom on that date scheduled done um i have my author id in there as a as a temporary thing and then we add an embed code right there we use Using the video ID so I have like HTML values and that's why um, in this case uh, we needed that video ID so I put that in on the on the form and and so forth then I have this little router that goes in and I add some stuff into notion so just again it's basically the full video um, where I can edit it and we do the same thing kind of in Airtable again as a full list of uh, of posts and then from there, it just sends that out to Discord, which is one of the channels I have, you know, for people that are interested in this content, it sends it out to that Twitter area and to Facebook. Now, of course, you could continue and add more modules into here. And let's say I want to go into add an extra router. I could add in a router and I could go and send this into, you know, I mean, there's a ton of different places you could go in and, and send this to. You could send in text messages. You could send in like, you know, uh, wherever you want, really. It's just connecting different apps. It's just you're thinking like, hey, what do I want to do next with this? Now, for me, this has been pretty convenient because I'm either assigning like a, a task to my team or something like that with a Notion or Airtable, or it's just like already done, or we're going into Discord, Twitter, and Facebook to notify them. But if you have like other things that you need done, you could go in and, you know, just do quite a bit 
and just look at look at all these little apps that you could start adding in. Like let's say you were using like ClickUp, so you could go ahead and add another task through uh, within ClickUp, or if you wanted to go ahead and uh, you know tie it into let's just say. A, another app like a document app or something like that then you could do that as well so there's a lot of flexibility to it this is how I use it uh, personally and um, you know my main thing uh, but for you it might be a little different and you could create these different automations and I like this much cleaner than kind of Zapier I use Zapier for multiple years as well and still have it for certain things uh, but I find that I like this quite a bit for a lot of my blog posts because it just uh, it has a good flow like you know you can visually see and if like something's not working or broken uh, then I could adjust it. Now I could also adjust settings. Like I could run this every 25 minutes between certain times and dates, which kind of saves on some of the operations because this uses operations, but you could run it more frequently and so forth if you need it. And it just keeps checking that Airtable base um, periodically, right? Based on my settings. And it just runs through each one of these and it goes through and it, and it does what it needs to do. And I could, could create like, you know, another thing here at this step. And then once it's done with Notion, it'll go to another router and so forth. So it's really a uh, amazing when you think about it like hey you fill out the form and then everything else is basically done for you and that's how I really automate a lot of my blog posts so anyways I hope that helps it gives you some uh, taste for some of the productivity that I do and how I make it happen to push the final product to move forward in the blog in YouTube channels that I do I always think of the automation and the whole automation process you just kind of do it step by step like what are the tasks that you normally do or would do and then what are you going to try to automate and how can you connect those things together sometimes you have to do a little tweak like in this case I went with a uh, web form and I had to fill out the, the form the Airtable form and then it runs the automation other times you could start it from the other program or other area uh, that you're working in like let's say you're doing something in a newsletter list like mailer light or aweber and the minute an email is sent it goes and gets logged into your like database that you've sent out these emails or something like that uh, but anyways the point is is that there's so many variations that you could do that you just have to think of like what do i want to do next after that blog post and that's really what you're trying to do is making it happen and for me i started even before the actual blog post it's like let me submit it once the video is done then how do i get it into my blog into my calendar send it out to the social medias and so forth and i'm always thinking about what's the next step how do i expand the automation it's just like if we're planning to do more things with it then in that case, I would make some changes and tweaks. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining me. Enjoy the rest of the week ahead.